saying we have this MRAP for constitutionalists and people who are stockpiling guns, who statistically have the lowest crime rates in the country. Look it up. And then we have other clips from Indiana and Ohio and Michigan and you name it. Same thing. This is the federal talking point. You've been given armored vehicles for the veterans, for the gun owners, for the Christians, for the constitutionalists. That's national news. So six and now it's seven members of the legislature uh, are really great patriots. Uh, they even wear the Info 1776 pin. They sent me a photo of that. It was awesome. We had to dig that up from their Twitter and put it up. I forgot to tell the guys about it. And there's just so much data to go over here. I could talk a million miles an hour. It's better that I just turn it over to Joe Biggs, turn it over to Representative Shea, and also turn it over to the sheriff himself. We're not going to play the whole thing, but when we played this video, he came out and said, we're liars, that it wasn't for constitutionalists. And then he came out and said that InfoWars was death threatening him. And then in his next breath said, that's why we need the armored vehicles for the constitutionalist. So this guy is either one of the worst liars I've ever seen or something's wrong with him. And I mean that very serious. That's my opinion. I mean, I don't want to fight with the sheriff. I'm not some type of police officer hater. In fact, I respect the office of the sheriff. It's elected. That's the most respectable constitutional law enforcement office there is. And we have sheriffs across the country from Milwaukee sheriff to you name it. We have the sheriff on all the time. I've had him on for 20 years that launched the sheriff movement to try to get liberty back, uh, of course. So it's very painful to see this, and something's going on. He's either trying to bait us, or he's being manipulated by the Southern Poverty Law Center or some other organization. Let's play the clip that started all this last year of the sheriff's deputy saying it's for constitutionalists. Here it is. Well, this, the nice thing about this piece of equipment is that if somebody is directing fire toward a team that's trying to get in, they, can, they safely can, they can pull right up to a front. Take enemy fire and still try to address a threat without being fear of getting shot. So I'm thinking that is totally appropriate in Iraq, but where, what kind of a situation in the U.S. would well, you see like that happening? I mean, we've got a lot of constitutionalists and a lot of people that, that stockpile weapons, a lot of, a lot of ammunition. I mean, we've got a lot of constitutionalists and a lot of people that, that stockpile weapons, a lot of, a lot of ammunition. They have, they have, uh, you know, weapons here locally. Okay, and then he said the tape was edited, so we put out the entire 12-minute tape we got from the listener. Uh, but again, we weren't even breaking this. It was already out for a week. We just wrote a story about it. DrudgeReport.com picked it up. Fox News picked it up. And then we'll play later in the broadcast other sheriff's deputies at other departments saying the exact same thing with the exact same MRAPs. I mean, it's chilling to have armored heavy vehicles, wheeled tanks that, you know, Joe fought in Iraq and Afghanistan in America. And they tell us it's for us, the Democratic Party basically does. And, and of course, a lot of these reps that are fighting back against this are veterans themselves. And the sheriffs come out and call them traitors and run down their service. Kind of like when you criticize Jade Helm, they kind of said, oh, he claims he was in the Army when they know you were in Rolling Stone, GQ, and in Army Times. I mean, you were somebody they pushed in front of the cameras because you were in a heavy combat unit. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, maybe maybe you were in the military. Maybe, you know, Matt Shea was in the military. Maybe these other people. It's really crazy how they try to deceive. So, Joe, what do you think is really going on here? And then we're going to go to Matt Shea. Well, this guy, the sheriff walks around with blinders on. And then the fact that he's using these YouTube comments as threats, we get death threats on YouTube. I mean, Every day. That's just what happens on YouTube. I mean, I've got some of them right here that says, I hope your MRAP and your SWAT team takes you down. You know, this is something that they said that was on an InfoWars comment board that was in the Inlander article. Cops and then they said that we said this. Yeah, we don't. This is a major cover story anybody that hundreds log. of thousands read saying we're saying kill cops. Yeah, anybody can log on to YouTube. Anybody can post anonymously and put some kind of comment up. That has nothing to do with us. No one at InfoWars condoned that. No one here wrote that. So how does that have to do with us? Well, they're I going along with the sheriff because first he said we said it a year ago, and now they're running it saying that we're saying it. Yeah, they're saying the InfoWars behind We could us. go on the Inlander and write that and say they said it. Yeah, exactly. So all we're doing is trying to confront the fact that this guy is out of control completely. The fact that he says he's going to use these MRAPs for constitutionalists. What's wrong with being a constitutionalist? What's wrong with wanting to stand up for that? 
And then the fact that in like some places like in Washington, if you call 911, you have to say that you're a vet or not because they're going to approach you differently if they come to your home. There's a huge problem going on. It's really crazy. The people that have hijacked our government want to start a war with people in America that still are Americans. I mean, it comes down to that. If you're just mainline mom and apple pie, you want low taxes, right to defend yourself, private property, you're just a good, hardworking person. You're the enemy because criminals have taken over and they're trying to manipulate police now into believing that we're the enemy to have a civil war. That's my view. We, of course, can give people the name of this sheriff, talk more about him, get some background on him. But uh, they've got mainstream media, national TV, you name it, really working with this sheriff to demonize the liberty movement that's growing in Washington State. Representative Matt Shea, thank you for coming on with us. Thanks for having me on again, Alex. And Joe, good to see you again. You too, sir. Uh, tell us so, uh, your view on all this and what you think is happening. Well, so w this sheriff is completely out of control. In fact, I would use the word he's becoming unhinged. And this, this started several years ago when he brought the Southern Poverty Law Center here to Spokane, Washington, to train sheriff deputies. I actually sat in on that training to see exactly what they we're teaching. I had my aide with me. We took very copious notes. And he put up on the screen there. And, and by the way, this sheriff tries to claim that he didn't know what the training was going to be about. Yet his picture was in the bottom right hand corner of the slideshow. So he tries to claim he didn't know, but he, he knew exactly what was in this training. And during this training, they put the picture on the screen of the leader of the We the People movement down in Pullman, Washington, Jeff Williams, put it up there. And they said that he was a domestic terrorist or an example of one. The guy has never been tried never been convicted. In fact, I don't think he's ever even been investigated for that. And yet the Southern Poverty Law Center was demonizing this individual. Now, it was brought to the sheriff's attention. And instead of apologizing and saying, hey, I messed up. This shouldn't have happened. I'm sorry. It took six months and several meetings of local area constituents and leaders to get that sheriff to send an apology letter to Jeff Williams. And then years, a couple of years later, when this deputy finally says this, out in the open on camera that the MRAPs are for constitutionalists, this sheriff, again, doesn't apologize. He just tries to say this was taken out of context. Alex, I don't know in what context that would ever be okay to say something like that. And myself and many others that believe in freedom and liberty, that believe the Constitution means what it says, we're sick and tired of being demonized. It's the people that are ignoring the Constitution in this country that are the problem. It's the people like this sheriff who, by the way, has been investigated for assault, for pumping private gas into or public gas into a private vehicle. He is he's said publicly that he wants to stop all lying in his department. And yet there was a murder of a pastor and a pastor literally mm -hmm. on his own property here in Spokane, Washington. There was a two million dollar settlement from that case because it was very clear that pastor was shot unlawfully. That deputy continued on his department. And by the way, during the investigation, it was uncovered that deputy lied on his employment forms about outside employment, which was a sex toy shop he was running with his wife, lied on that and was never fired for it and was only fired this year. On and he was in an unmarked vehicle, right? And he was in an unmarked vehicle. I think they've got something planned big for this sheriff. I, I don't know if they're trying to bait patriots in the area to try to you know, have some incident. But clearly, this is a key area. That's why we're focusing in on it. It's got a lot of patriots, a lot of constitutionalists, a lot of veterans, a lot of conservatives, one of the most awake areas in the entire Pacific Northwest. Indeed. And we have State Representative Matt Shea here breaking this down with us. I just want to know why he poses on the cover of major newspapers and magazines standing on the Gadsden flag and standing on basically the American people when that's one of the founding flags of this country. That flag predates the American flag. That's one of the first battle flags. It's the Marine Corps uses it. The Army has it. I mean, this is just really arrogant and aggressive. And let's let's pull back. This is a tiny window because most departments are smart enough to either reject the Southern Poverty Law Center, ADL, or they keep the training secret. We told everybody the MRAPS is for us. Now we've got videos of departments all over the country or their manuals saying it's for us. I'm going to repeat this. Thousands of heavy armored vehicles with 50 cal machine guns, you name it, have been delivered free of charge, or in some cases sold, to departments for war with veterans and gun owners and conservatives. This is outrageous. It's criminal. 
It constitutes an attempted soft coup by the Obama administration. And when people like Representative Shea and others have the will to go in the face of this tyranny, they get demonized. And let's talk about his demonization of you. In fact, they gave me the report a few weeks ago. If somebody reprint uh, that newspaper and bring it to me, because it's in a bunch of the newspapers, but this is a big paper there. You read this stuff, you can't believe they're saying it or implying that we want to kill people or that you want to kill people. And he says that you're out of control as a state rep. He's really escalating the rhetoric when we've never said any of this. What do you think's really behind this? Because I really see the pieces and it doesn't look good. Well, I think there's two parts of it, Alex. The first part is they're trying to bait liberty and constitutionalists Liberty movement folks are trying to bait us into doing something. That's the very first thing. The second thing is they're trying to come after veterans. And in particular, this sheriff's supporters tried to denigrate my service record in, in last year. And I served two combat to tours overseas, Alex, in Bosnia and in Iraq, both. And I got to tell you, I am I am furious. This this sheriff would try to say that I'm some sort of an extremist. I'm some sort of a domestic terrorist. When I sat there and I fought overseas the very people that he should be more concerned about here in this country. It, it oh, is that's right. I forgot the, the new article from last week. He now compares you to ISIS. He actually says, like the terrorist in ISIS, what, what's going on with that? Well, he says he compares us to ISIS. He compares constitutionalist to ISIS. Then he tried to walk back and say that was taken out of context. Again, I would say there is never a context in which you say that word in the exact same sentence, the, that, that acronym ISIS in the exact same sentence, that you're implying that constitutionalists are domestic terrorists. You don't say that. And that's what's so alarming about the sheriff. On top of the video that he did last year, October 20th, 2014, where he says, I can affect your freedom and take your life. Mm -hmm. We need to be asking questions of this sheriff. That's our job. And this sheriff, instead of blaming victims and blaming other people, should answer for his actions. And I have publicly asked that he resign. And Alex, I, I'm here to ask you today, that we need you up here in the InfoWars spotlight on this sheriff, because very clearly there is something going on in this area. In fact, there's kind of a tale of two sheriffs going on. We had the VA come up Priest River, Idaho, and threaten the firearms rights of a veteran here a week and a half ago. And Sheriff Daryl Wheeler stood in the house with us and said, no bureaucrat is gonna take away the God-given unalienable rights of one of my citizens and one of my constituents. Yeah, tell us about this hero sheriff that we should get on the show and, and interview versus this this bizarro sheriff. Yeah. Yeah, so this so Darrell Wheeler said I think what every sheriff should be saying that bureaucrats cannot take away any sort of God given inalienable right. There's no judge, there's no jury. They've even said they're gonna use Obama announced a month ago the VA model for the FBI now for regular citizens to just magically take your gun like a no-fly list. You don't know how you get on it. They just come take your guns. Well, yeah, the VA sending out letters like that to, to veterans all over the country. Hey, sorry, uh, we don't think that you're quite stable enough. You're not able to handle your finances, so the VA is going to come in and seize your weapons. Now they're announcing all Social Security recipients that take automatic wire transfers. This is a, the FBI announced this, will be considered... Uh, financially uh, enabled to take care of themselves and uh, basically will now be wards of the state. Your guns will be taken. Well, it's only going to be a matter of time before Sheriff Ozzie Nezovich brings in Snopes to help solve crimes as well, to help uh, with the ISPLC. Joe, I can't believe that I just said on air that a month ago, because you can pull it up, mainstream news, that they're now going to have the VA model go after people on Social Security uh, saying that you know, it's like their neck's broken or something. They can't have guns. Well, their neck's not broken. Just because you have a money transfer and do automatic wire transfer of your check, that that means you can't take care of your finances. And then the Congress came out in the Washington Times the next day in the Hill newspaper and said, Congress warns Obama not to implement. That isn't enough. He's going ahead with it. Representative Shea, can you believe it's moving this quick? I mean, this is really bold. It is very bold. The last two months, have seen just a massive escalation of what what is very clearly a movement toward tyranny, no question about it. And up there in in North Idaho, and this is what's going to happen across the country for all your viewers, all your listeners. This is what's going to happen across the country, where they're going to have a doctor say, and and they didn't say that he was mentally deficient or mentally incompetent. They said 
that he was not competent to handle his VA benefits. That's what they said about this veteran. And therefore, under the Brady law, that he could no longer 